Hi, today we'll learn how to use the automated schedule monthly template. So first things first, we'll go into the category list input and input a new category. So for example, let's call it test category. Perfect. We'll then go into the add slash delete event section to add a new event. So let's call it test event. Um, the event detail section is um, doesn't have to be filled, but let's just, for example, call it detail of event. And we'll assign the newly created category. For the date, let's just put, for example, the 1st of April 2020, and we'll have it from 08 a.m. till, say, 4 p.m. And just hit Add to Calendar. A little pop-up window will come up saying that the event has been added. It's perfect. Let's say now that we've made a mistake and for some reason we want to delete the event that we just created. So we'll go into search and delete, enter the name of the event that we just created, or part of the name. In this case, I know it was called test event. So if I just type in test, here we go, comes up here, select the event that we want to delete and just hit delete event. A pop-up window will come up asking you if you're sure, just hit yes, that's it. The event has been deleted. Let's, not, let's now recreate the event. We'll call it test event two. Keep the same category, detail, date, and time, and we'll add it again. Event added successfully, okay. Now we can go into the monthly calendar. So we remember that our event was created in April. So let's go into next month. And we can see first of April, we've got our test event two. We can also visualize it in the dashboard. Select our month. And you can see that these are the eight hours that were created for our test event. All right, enjoy.